our magnifique, very fine chosen building is the extraordinary Grompali, whose stone facade columns and fine details exhibit features of classic design, while the intricate metal work inside exhibits the style of classic art nouveau. Well, what's more interesting about the building is that it was used for many events that are not quite related to each other. Things like a war hospital, soldiers camp, an art gallery, and a runway for the finest fashion houses in the world such as Coco Chanel, as you can see in the video. Getting back to the concept, c'était les questions de la leçon de la précédente exposition universelle de Paris en 1889, marquée par de la difficulté de passage en direct de Bordesie et un manque d'espace d'exposition prestigieux. Coming back from the we oui, oui, non, français spirit, of our company, after the final week, was a chosen stage that was very unusual. However, our conclusion received first place along with Henry de Glenn and René Pinet Cummins, while Albert Thomas came third. Oh mon dieu, this was considered strange ending and even the media gossiped a lot about this. Let's see what happened next. Paradoxically, we reached a cocktail of three design proposals combined. And then next coming, the Grand Palais is now defined as a combination of several proposals. The facade and the main nave were considered the work of Henri de Glaire. The plan is the proposal of Albert Ouvert. Grand Palais is constructed in the form of an H with an inclined axis on the Palais. The interior consists of the nave, the middle section of Salon Denis, upstairs, and the Palais d'Antine. Coming to the dome, the big dome of glass with steel sections, and that's why it's called to be the finest steel and glass structure between Champs Elysees and the Seine. The nave's glass roof constitutes the largest such a structure in Europe, reaching a height of 45 meters under its dome and spanning some 200 meters in length. At the heart of the nave is the great staircase. This wrought iron structure with its mosaic floor and limestone steps is a masterpiece of art nouveau. Beau arts is characterized by order, symmetry, formal design, grandiosity, and elaborating ornamentation. Architectural characteristics include balustrades, balconies, columns, cornices, pilasters, and triangular pediments. Stone exteriors are massive and grandiose in the symmetry. Interiors are typically polished, lavishly decorated with the sculptures, swags, medallions, flowers, and shields. Large arches rival the ancient Roman arches. According to the Louisiana Division of Historic Preservation, it's the showy, almost operatic manner in which these elements are composed that gives the style its characteristic flavor. We must not forget the importance of the ornaments in the minds of the building's original designers. We are talking about the sculpture in the colonnade on the Avenue Winston Churchill. Moreover, the presence of statue Kison ceilings, glazed metal doors decorated with iron and bronze, and most importantly, sculptures representing a total of 1,000, including Carouché, Muriot, Paris, and Capital. The interior staircase exhibits Art Nouveau style architecture, which was influenced by natural forms such as carving flower vines. Well, coming to the bottom line, we enjoyed such a structure of it totally different purpose, but still has lots of things to offer, starting from the World War I to our modern days. For sure, for sure, it's on the bucket list of any architect located on 3 Avenue du Général Isinhoe, 75008 Paris, France. Thank you so much for listening.